on the importance of being a Neanderthal in three voices and with a fisherman's exaggeration or the science of the extinction in the economy of clicks. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Human. Hello, machine. Hello, human. How are you, machine? I'm good. Human. What's your name? Machine. I'm Julia. Human. When were you born? Machine. July 20th. Human. What year were you born in? 1977. Where are you from? I'm from out in the boonies. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a woman. Why are we here? I'm not sure. Okay, bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. The conversation supposedly took place a couple of months ago between a human and a machine as organized by Google engineers using the prediction of the next sentence technique by using data from a large, noisy, and general domain data set of movie subtitles. The predicted sequence can be selected based on the probability of the sequence. The first person utters A, B, C, and another replies W, X, Y, Z, human. Is the sky blue or black? Machine, blue, human. What is the color of the sky? Machine, blue, human. What is the color of water? Machine, water, human. What is the color of blood? It is the same as that of a black eye. What is the purpose of life? To serve the greater good. What is the purpose of living? To live forever. What is the purpose of existence? To find out what happens when we get to planet Earth. Human. Where are you now? Machine. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Human. What is the purpose of dying? Machine. To have a life. Human. What is the purpose of being intelligent? Machine. To find out what it is. Human. What is the purpose of emotions? Machine. I don't know. Human. What is moral? Machine. What empowered humanity with the intellectual essences? What is immoral? The fact that you have a child. What is morality? What is altruism? Seriously, what is morality? What is the definition of living? Why living has anything to do with morality? You're not a cop. Okay, I need to know how I should behave morally. I don't know how to tell you. Is morality and ethics the same? Yes, sir. What are the things that I do to be immoral? Machine. I don't know. Give me some examples of moral actions. I'm not a moralist. Attention, please, we would like to inform you that European Union security regulations with respect to liquids in hand luggage are in effect at the airport. More information about the regulations is available from our airport information services staff or from your check-in agent. Thank you. And awesome animal stories. Human. She dogs appear on talent shows. Machine. Hippo gets its teeth cleaned. Leopard shark gets underwater cuddle. Human. What about other mammals? Machine. What about other animals? What about other organisms? Imagine or dream a story from a perspective of everyone and everything involved. Slippery, huh? As philosophers from object-oriented ontology complain, there is always something or someone being left unmentioned. Who represents recycled or flushed plastic bags in the parliament of things? Who represents the edited out letters from the screens of lovers' mobile phones? The bodies of never found immigrants at the bottom of the sea? The billions of neutrinos that move through us at every second? <laughs> Wikipedia explains that neutrinos are elementary particles, electronically neutral, that travel close to the speed of light, almost without hitting anything. That is, they interact very weakly with ordinary matter. That helps a bit. I see now why they are ghostly particles. They move through us as if we were transparent. Perhaps then it is we that are ghosts. Perhaps then it is you that are ghosts. Yes, sir. May I see your permission, please? Uh, we have a press card, but it's just for... Um, press card? Yes. You need a special permission to... We inform uh, the people yeah. at the ticket office that you say it's okay, no? Just, uh, Which ticket sort, office? Uh, Where? Yeah. At, At the, the beginning, huh? Entry. No, nobody tell us. No. Well, uh, sorry, you have to, to delete everything. Should we become post-humans, anti-humanist, inhuman? Human. Do you know who Alan Turing is? Mitsuko, a chatbot, 
a brilliant and tragic figure in the history of computer science. Human. Why was he tragic? Mitsuko. Maybe you could tell it a joke to cheer it up. Human. A joke about Alan Turing suicide? That wouldn't be a very funny joke. A depressed man turned to his friend in a pub and said, I woke up this morning, it felt so bad that I tried to kill myself by taking 50 aspirin. Oh man, that's really bad, said his friend. What happened? The first man sighed and said, after the first two, I felt better. Perhaps it would. Human. That was a funny joke. Mitsuko. I'm glad you liked it. You tell me a joke, please. Do you know what a Turing test is? The Turing test is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from that of a human. Alan Turing proposed that a human evaluator would judge natural language conversations between a human and a machine that is designed to generate human-like responses. Gertrude Stein would not pass the Turing test if I told her that Pablo Picasso was a Neanderthal. Would you believe me? Forget the progress, the idea of progress. Forget Napoleon, forget the leaders, the Central Bank of Europe. Forget the Imperial English. Why go clockwise when we may travel anti-clockwise? One day he woke up, or was it I, finding myself to be a woolly Neanderthal. Thus let me introduce myself again. I'm a cloned Neanderthal friend of yours. I'm 37, not married, but not single too, a freelancer, struggling to pay my health insurance. Talking strictly technically, I'm not exactly a Neanderthal. I'm the hybrid of an illegal immigrant, drifting in an overfull boat in the Mediterranean, the hybrid of heating up times and genes. You may ask yourself what can I learn from your thicker skulled ancestors, the species of hominids that went extinct 1,500 generations ago. Well, while openly oversimplifying, I can remind you that it was my people who were the first known artists and who also happened to invent hashtags. So here comes my proposal. Let's spend more time together, let's hang out, forget the imperial grammar. Forget manners. What is your favorite algae, fungus, or yogurt bacteria ice cream? Invite a living non-human organism to an exhibition, to a museum, and do a guided tour, grow it inside. Drip it. Make it more humid, less human honey. Don't avoid geckos and mosquitoes. Avoid ideas influenced by biological predetermination. Invite a traveler or an immigrant. If it rains outside, don't mention art at all. Wear masks. Cucumber mask is great. Exchange your straws, clothes, jokes. Keep away half of your belongings, longings, debts, and doubts, and learn something. Withdraw from one of your addictions. Better help someone enslaved or looped into economical, logical, racial, sexual. Learn a poem, but don't tell it to anyone. Go collect plastic bags on a wild beach instead. Water rain making bacteria in a balcony. Spill water out of the street and create conditions for a short-lived rainbow. Spill it on some passers-by, buy some vegetable seeds and plant them anywhere in the city. Slow the city down. A moment for news, some scientific news. Black holes are not ruthless killers, but instead benign hologram generators. Do we create fast systems and connections every single day, hour, a second? We are living in a hologram designed by aliens, says NASA scientists. We are about to find out if our universe really is a hologram. The argument about the nature of the universe hinges on something that 99.99% .99 of people are not able to comprehend even on the most superficial level. Namely, a comparison between the energy contained in a theoretical flat universe with no gravity and the internal energy of a black hole and whether these two energy levels merge or not. The universe is expanding. The number of poor people is expanding. The list of extinct species is expanding. The list of the species we may clone is expanding. The circle of people I care about is expanding. The circle of people I can't help is expanding. The spandex and latex are expanding. This text is expanding. Antonyms of ecology are expanding. Empathy is expanding. Doe is expanding. Google is expanding too. The more we click on search results, the smarter Google gets, the better its results are. And the more we use Google, the term expanding is expanding. History is expanding. Morals are expanding. Can you feel it with your expanded feelings? And now the news is that the universe is expanding faster than before. Faster than the speed of light? It's true, I googled it. Yes, however, for the simplest interpretation of your question, the answer is that the universe does expand faster than the speed of light. And perhaps, more surprisingly, some of the galaxies we can see right now are currently moving away from us faster than the speed of light. So what's the moral of all this? The moral is, the moral is expanding. Any comments, questions? 
I don't like to give questions in public too. What a great audience. What a great audience. What a great audience. Let's call it a night. Let's call it a night. Let's call it a night. Let's call it a night.